All right, Catherine, thank you. New guidelines today from the federal government that lowers the recommended age for colon cancer screening to 45. It was 50. All new at 6, Fox 2 medical reporter Dan Gray says the move is coming in response to rising colon cancer rates and deaths in young adults. SSM Health gastroenterologists in the St. Louis area have been calling for the change for years. Many of our societies had moved the age down from 50 to 45 within the past couple of years. And that's because increasingly we've been seeing younger individuals with colon cancer at more advanced stages. The rates of colon cancer are 51% higher for people under 50 over the past 25 years. So the U.S. Preventive Services Task Force is now recommending screenings begin at age 45, not 50. And Dr. Prather says there are other screening options than a colonoscopy. Something called FIT testing, which is a specialized testing looking for blood in the stool. Another test looks at fecal DNA. These are excellent alternatives for individuals who are unable or unwilling um, to undergo colonoscopy. Some people have been told for years to have the screenings at 45 because they are at high risk, African American, or have a family history. Screenings work well. People over the age of 50, the group that has been screened, their colon cancer rates have gone down by a third over the past couple of decades. The wonderful thing about colonoscopies is not only are they colon cancer detection tests, but they are colon cancer prevention tests. The reason you get a colonoscopy is to identify precancerous lesions that we can remove right then and there. While doctors aren't yet sure why more cases are occurring in the younger age group, they say that screening people earlier will save lives. Colon cancer is preventable. Colon cancer is treatable. It's important to get out there and get screened. Dan Gray, Fox 2 News. And for more information on scheduling a colorectal screening, talk to your doctor or go to SSMHealth.com.